Well, hey folks, we are here in Lebanon, Virginia, and we're gonna be having lunch at the place you see behind us, and everybody knows what that is. That is a Long John Silver's. Now, you may ask, why are we reviewing Long John Silver's? Because we don't have any anymore back where we're at, and I miss it, uh, but it was always a place that uh, I grew up going to. I love the uh, battered uh, fish here better than any other. Uh, we do still have Captain D's at home, but there's just nothing quite like Long John Silver's. And all of them around our house, we used to have three within a probably an hour's drive of us, one within 15 minutes. They're all gone now. Uh, then there was one in Pigeon Forge. It's gone now. So um, I've kind of not had Long John Silver's in a while. It's just something I used to treat myself to once in a while. Uh, found out there was gonna be one here. We did not drive to Lebanon, Virginia for this. We drove to eat at Bonanza, as you've already seen that review, and meet up with our uh, YouTube friends. But I was very pleased to find out there is one of these left because they're shutting a lot of them down. Uh, in fact, I went online before we came here to see how many are left, and I was expecting 20 or 30. There are actually still 540 Long John Silver's locations, just none of them near me anymore. So uh, we decided while we were here, we're going to take advantage of it. And I'm not going to get the big platter that I usually would get since we are eating out again tonight. But I'm just going to treat myself today to some Long John Silver's. So are you ready? I'm ready. All right, let's go. So right here, they got a popcorn shrimp basket. They've added a lot of things, taking a lot of things off the menu since I started going to Long John Silver's. I'll tell you about my first experience there once we get inside. But I love their fish here, and I love their battered chicken. I like their shrimp and their fish. And you like their shrimp and your fish. And you sometimes will get a wrap here. I've never, to have wraps. I, don't I have never there. come here for a wrap, but uh, we're going to get something light today. Just so I can say I've been to another Long John Silver's. Here's a little bit of the street here in Lebanon, Virginia. So let's go inside. So here are the hours and they are hiring. So here's the hours for Long John Silvers. All right. The inside of the restaurant. We're getting ready to place our order now. Yes. Try to get a little closer on that while they're not out here. It's easier to. Here's the rest of the menu that I didn't get a moment ago. And they also feature Cheesecake Factory cheesecake. Now that's some good stuff there. We got cheese bites. Okay, now here at the drink fountain they are featuring, well, I'll show you what all they got, but I want to focus on one thing. They've got this new strawberry lemonade. We both got that because it like makes us to try that. Starry. Yeah. You know that, whatever drink that is. Well, a is something different. This is straw. I think that's S T R A. Oh, I thought it was strawberry. Okay. So I did not get what I usually get. I usually get the uh, two fish and three chicken, the whole full meal. But since we are eating again tonight, I just got the uh, two piece combo, two piece fish, and I added a chicken and got corn as a side. And you got just the two piece chicken lunch combo. Fish. Again. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. yeah. Fish. Because, yeah, we didn't so eat breakfast, so we're a little there. hungry. All right, so tell me your first experience at a Long John Silver's that you ever remember. I don't think I had ever eaten at one until we got married. Um, I'm just gonna so would that have been good? It's Lenore, Boone? I would say probably Lenore. We used to go there or quite Gatlin, a bit. They used to have, was one still in Gatlinburg when we went? I don't remember. I know we've talked about it. I don't, okay. well, there was one on the back street, wasn't there? There was. That yeah, was, that was, yeah, yeah it was there. Okay. Mm -hmm. But do you remember the first one? Was that it? I think it was, it had probably was Lenore. Lenore, okay. Yeah. So tell us about your first experience. Yeah, my very first experience in Lone John Sewers, I was about, I want to say eight years old, maybe nine years old. And it was in Cherokee, North Carolina. That was no longer there either. It is now, I think, a Japanese restaurant. I think it is, It yeah. used to be right there by the KFC, mm -hmm. where you get off Highway 19, turn on 441 to go to the National Park. And I remember not wanting to go that night. Uh, I had, my dad took me. I'd never heard of him. I was used to Captain D's. And I remember, I don't want to go to Long John Silver's. And we did. And I ended up falling in love with it. And then we found out there was one in Gatlinburg. So when I was a kid, we'd always go there if we went to Gatlinburg. Then they built one near home in Lenore. And it was there for 20-some years. And it mm -hmm. finally shut down about three years ago. And so did um, the one in Morganton, a neighboring town, and then the one in Boone. So every Long John Silver's... Within 100 miles of us is gone now, including the one in Pigeon Forge. 
Uh, and, yeah, because we used to do that one at least once a year. Yeah, I thought, well, at least there's that one, and now there's not that one. So that's why we're here at this one in Lebanon, Virginia, just because I don't get it anymore. Yeah. Don't need it, but I, yeah, I treat yeah. myself once in a while to it, so we're going to enjoy this. Now, one of the things I always loved after eating my meal here was the leftover crispies that were left in the plate. Uh, I remember a time long John Silver's actually sold a little tray of those mm -hmm. for like a dollar. Uh, but looks like I got a pretty good bit of them today. I love those, fortunately for me. She does not. So he'll get mine. And you, you're welcome to them, but she oh, always just pushes, pushes them in my plate. So. I like the crispies as you're eating them because yeah. this is crispy enough. But yeah, just to eat that, I'm, yeah. he can have it. So that's just a little extra added treat at the end of the meal. <laughs> So I haven't seen these in years, but how many of you who ate at Long John Sears as a child remember these little paper hats you put on? I they, found them on a high chair. She found it on the high chair. I was going to make her wear it, but since that's there for children, I didn't yeah. know they still had those. You'd have to kind of separate it. But they used to say along the bottom, I sell with Long John Silver's crew. Now, Shaughnessy here used to, but she wouldn't keep the ship clean, so she had to walk the plank. And yeah. thankfully, I could swim. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, folks, well, it's raining as we come out of Long John Silver, so that's why we're doing the closeout here in the vehicle. So, um, we did, like I say, we did not drive to Lebanon just to eat at Long John Silver's, but I was pleasantly surprised when she told me there was one here. So, we wanted to try to fit it in. We're going to be doing two, uh, well, they'll already be up by the time you see this one, but uh, we're going to be eating at Bonanza twice for supper tonight with our friends and uh, also for lunch tomorrow. And, um, we wanted to fit this in as well, so uh, we actually just arrived in Lebanon a couple of hours ago. We took a nap, uh, and then we decided to come on out here. So, um, Long John Silver's, it's just, like I say, something that I grew up eating. Haven't had it in, probably it's been at least a year. I think Johnson City, Tennessee was the last time. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, it's it been probably almost a year, uh, and don't know when I'll be back around another one. So, just want to take advantage of it today. So, why don't you start off, tell what you had, and what you thought of it. I just got the number one. It's a fish combo, so it comes with two pieces of fish, <clears throat> two hush puppies. Uh, you can choose your side. I just got the french fries and a 20 ounce drink. And I tried this. Straw berry, like you gotta say it like a pirate. R. I thought it had that star. S T R A A, like three R A's. R. I thought it had that starry drink in it. And he's like, no, it's like a, you say it like a pirate. Yeah, one starry. It was like straw. Like, yeah, like a pirate. Uh, <laughs> so anyway, so it was <clears throat> sweet. Just a hint of tartness. Not bad at all. The fish was really good. It was hot. Had some good crisp to it. The fries were good. You know, just for a light portion, it was plenty. Uh, you know, fried food's not part of the diet and I've not really you know, when we eat out, you guys just see me eating out, but I eat healthy the rest of the time, so. We really do. Yeah. <laughs> um, so anyway, it was good. It was good. And I'm yeah. glad we were able to come and so that way you can get your. Every you morning, like. my breakfast, this is no lie. Every morning, my breakfast is a smoothie with either spinach or kale in it, plus numerous types of fruits. Uh, that's my lunch. And then uh, my lunch is actually a couple of tangerines or in banana. So I really don't eat one except one meal a day unless we're going somewhere. And that's supper. So, um, yeah, today was just like I say, we, we found out it was here. We don't have them anymore, anywhere. There's not a Long John Silver's within 100 miles of our home now. So, um, just decided to take advantage of it. Uh, be a while before we get, come back to one. So, I'll start off with this uh, strawberry lemonade. I thought it was pretty good. I actually didn't detect any tartness in it. I thought for a lemonade, it was actually... Um, had a good flavor to it. I uh, went back and got a refill and mixed it with Mountain Dew. That's another thing I haven't had in a long time because they're just terrible for you. And I'm not a big soda drinker, but I just kind of wanted to mix it together uh, with the lemon and then the lemon lime taste of Mountain Dew. And that's pretty good. So today we got the lunch. I got the two piece fish uh, combo uh, meal, added a piece of chicken. And um, I'll tell you what I really liked today. The hush puppies were really good. They, they were, were good. they were good and hot. Uh, they were like good and crispy on the outside, nice and soft and, and hot on the inside. I really have always loved the hush puppies at Long John Silver's. Mm -hmm. It's another thing I miss. Um, the fish was good as always. The chicken was good, just like I remember it. Uh, I'm glad to be able to say I came to another Long John Silver's. I don't know mm -hmm. when it'll happen again. Hopefully at some point it will, but and everybody uh, in there was really nice. Yes, everybody was really nice. They, Came up a couple of times and checked on us. Yeah, she came and checked on us, what, twice? Two, yeah, yeah two at least times. twice. Yeah. So, uh, Very clean in there. So they were asking where we were from. They noticed our shirts. And um, 
uh, we told him near Hickory, North Carolina, because, you know, people up here ain't going to know where Granite Falls is, except this guy did. He says, oh, I have a lot of family in Hickory. I said, well, then you might have heard of Granite Falls. Yeah, about back this, this side of it. So uh, he was right. So he, he knew exactly where we were from. That was the guy behind the counter. I think he might have been the manager on duty. Probably. Uh, he was giving orders, so I think he was the manager yeah. on duty. But a uh, nice guy. Mm -hmm. um, one thing I'm going to say about this location, <laughs> um, clean restrooms has never been a strong suit of Long John Silver's. Especially the one at Pigeon Forge, I think, was probably the worst was ever. Uh, this was the exception. Uh, the, the restroom was spacious, and I didn't really see a cleanliness issue in it. Any, anywhere in the restaurant. Yeah. It, it was actually a very clean Long John Silver's overall. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the top that I've seen, honestly. Mm -hmm. So uh, I do want to mention that because I, you know, I don't hesitate to mention if a restroom's nasty. This was this was not. So uh, impressed with that. So we're gonna just spend the day in Lebanon. Our uh, our YouTube friends are coming in, and you know them. Uh, uh, you'll see, again, you'll see that video before I post this one, so you'll know who they are by then. The VA fund seekers. So they're coming in later this evening. And um, so we're not going to be eating probably till 7 8 tonight. So that's why we wanted to go ahead and grab some lunch. So we're just going to kind of ride through Lebanon now and never been here before. Uh, just see the town. Um, I, don't, I don't think it's a real big town. I'm not, no, that, I don't think it is very big. But it's basically located. We got restless dogs back there. I have them in the carrier. You want to go ahead and get them out right quick and I can talk uh, so they not uh, continue them. to do that. Um, <laughs> But we're just going to ride through Lebanon. Uh, basically, we're in the southwest part of Virginia. Uh, uh, we came across from Boone over into uh, Mountain City, Tennessee, and up through Damascus, Virginia. And then on over into Lebington, Lebanon. Lebanon. I was about to say Abingdon. It's near Abingdon. Uh, Lebanon, Virginia. So we've never actually been to this part of the state before. But uh, it's very pretty. A lot of uh, farmland. A lot of rolling hillsides. So... Uh, we're going to ride through town now and just um, let you see a little bit of the town at the end of this review. It's a little bit different closeout. But if you like this video, like and subscribe. Give and it a thumbs up and find and follow us on Facebook. All right. Have a blessed day.